out of order. It throws me off. <laughs> driver is a ride share driver, any gender, any age. <coughs> the rider, ride share customer, any gender, any age. Time. Could you speak just a little louder? Please? Oh, I'm so sorry. Time in the age of ride share services and cell phone navigation. At rise, driver is seated in car. On the passenger seat, there's a gym bag. Rider approaches the window and waves. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> uh, hi, are you Jamie? Yeah, hi, yeah, are you Alex? Sure am, uh, how you doing? Yeah, I'm fine. I don't quite understand where I'm supposed to be taking you. What came up on my phone here is kind of confusing. Uh, you need to get to a, a better place. Uh, sorry? I'm in a bad place. I'm just coming off a breakup. Not a bad breakup. It was honestly what I wanted. You had to stop seeing each other. It had to happen. Mm, okay. And I'm in a bad place. I want to get over it, to get better. I just can't. I cry. <coughs> I have this weight in my stomach. I can't sleep, but I also can't get out of bed. I want to be together just for a little while, just to hear their laugh and the way they looked at me, you know, or what their eyes said to me. Oh, yeah, yeah um, with the pronouns. It's put in so you can be either male or female, okay. but you can make them feminine. Okay. Or masculine, whatever you want to be. Or alien. Right. <laughs> right. Or one right. of bleach. Yes. Okay. And the way she looked at me, you know, what, what her eyes said to me, they said it all. I miss, uh, I miss who I am with her. I get it. You do? It's universal. Everyone's felt like you do at some point. Yeah, I know, but it still sucks. And the thought I might see them, see her out somewhere makes my heart skip a beat and then shrivel into my guts. And you want me to help you get over it? Move you past it, get you to a better place? Can you? Getting people where they want to be is kind of what I do. Oh, thank you. Uh, five stars if I get you to a better place. Yeah, sure. And, and a tip. Okay. Uh, looks to be a couple of different ways to go. Uh, well, let's see. There's a couple of routes to get you to a better place. I trust you. You're the expert. Okay, buckle up. The first one goes negative. Starts driving. Uh, on this route, you've got to focus on negative things about the person to make you feel like you're better off without them. Yeah, oh, okay. Uh, start with the physical, their body. Some issues there? Oh, sure, we all have issues. Nobody's perfect. Think about their body and, uh, well, and, and now think, think about it in 10 years from now. Did you really want to stick around for that? Oh, wow. <laughs> But I'm sure my body in 10 years is bad. Uh, too tall, too short, overweight, hairy in strange places. When you're together, you look past all that. Uh, now, now you got to look directly at those things. Okay, yep. Uh, I can do that. But those things never mattered to me. They didn't, they didn't matter then. But to get where you need to go, you need to focus on those things. Uh, are, are we getting somewhere? Maybe, but uh, it doesn't feel very good. Uh, not supposed to. The root has little sad faces on it. I feel like I'm shallow, caring about those things. Okay, then, uh, well, now, uh, well, then how about the times they screwed up? You forgave them, but you didn't forget. Focus on those screw-ups. Well, we, we both did some screwing up. Don't think about yours, think about theirs. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, the time you won that sales award at work, and they, and they didn't even congratulate you. Just make fun of the dumb paperweight you, you got as part of the award. Yeah, that happened. <laughs> there was a time you trained for months <clears throat> to run your first half marathon, and, and they didn't come and cheer you on. Didn't even wake up with you and say good luck. Ah, uh, I remember. You ran the whole race thinking they were going to surprise you and be waiting at the finish line, because that's what you would have done for them. And, uh, sorry, I'm sorry. That's what you, that's what you would have done for them. But they weren't there. Yeah, that sucked. How do you know all this? It's all here in the root guidance. Uh, so, by the way, I'm looking at a phone. Are you ready? Uh, so now it's showing uh, a little crying face emojis. Uh, did you really want to go on being treated like that? Oh, we talked about those things. We got past it. 
I was certainly no picture either. The focus on their stuff, focus on their stuff. When you think of this person, think negative. Yeah, look, uh, I, I don't like this. Makes me feel like I was an idiot for dealing with it like I did. Maybe I, I don't miss her, but I feel worse about myself. Uh, let's try a different way. Types in the phone. Okay, uh, here we go. Uh, ah, okay, so this route has all kinds of random icons on it. Um, oh, I see a distraction. Distract? Driver turns hard and rider slides across the back seat. Whoa. Oh, Tosses tennis ball from the gym bag into the back seat. Oh, it says here you start taking tennis lessons. <laughs> tennis? Yes, tennis. Uh, then you get into me meditation. Meditation? Driver pulls a small gong from the gym bag and strikes it. Close his eyes. Mm. Um. Driver breaks the silence, turning the wheel sharply. Rider slides across the seat. Hey! Driver tosses a back, uh, tosses back an unfinished crochet work and a ball of yarn. Now crochet. You start to crochet. Crochet? Why? Don't ask why. Crochet, damn it. Keep your mind occupied. Yeah, okay. Driver tosses a pad and pen into the back seat. You start writing stupid short plays. I do? <laughs> okay, I guess I do. Driver throws more tennis balls into the backseat. Hey, I'm trying to write and crochet back here. <laughs> it's, it's a lot, right? Yeah, this is pretty... Uh, uh, distracting. Yeah, very. Uh, yes, very. Oh, sorry. Uh, distra uh, but you, but you're not thinking about... Uh, How could I? Well, keep crocheting. Now, quick. Meditate. Strikes the gong. <laughs> um, um. The driver turns the car wildly again. Tosses another pad and pen. Now write poetry. And no damn rhyming. Serious poets don't rhyme. The second I stop, it's all going to come back, right? Probably. Who knows? Just keep busy. Stop. I want to stop. It doesn't feel like, like healing. C can we try something else? Driver. Driving returns to normal. Beat. Driver looks at phone. Okay, uh, something else. Ah, looks like there's one more route available. Well, let's try it. Says here it's difficult. Oh, more difficult than tennis, meditation, and crochet? <laughs> Probably. It involves love. What? This route, uh, this route shows little hearts on it. Some regular hearts and some broken hearts. You'll have to use your love for the person. But, but I don't want to feel. It's not about feelings, it's about sacrifice. Oh. You still with me? Yeah. I'm with you, I think. Well, well then put love in your heart. No, I, I, I change my mind. I, I, I don't want to. Put love in your heart. Love for people. Love for children. For people this life has forgotten. For lonely people. For tired people. For people who struggle every day. Do I have to? Someone out there needs you. Someone needs what your heart has to offer. So, uh, what do I do about it? Nothing, not yet. Just fill your heart. Let that change happen first. The doing will come. Hmm. Okay. Are you feeling your heart? Yeah. It hurts a little. Good. Looks like we're getting somewhere. Okay. Uh, my heart is filling. It's filling with love. For anyone in particular? Mm, not really. Just sort of uh, in general. For people you've never met? Yeah. For people you've never seen? Yes. Good. You can have love for people, and you're not with them. You can do that. You can do that? I can. You're not with them, but you can love them all the same. Ryder nods. I say it. I'm not with them, but I can love them all the same. Say it again. I'm not with them, but I can love them all the same. Eat. We've arrived. What? How? Say it again. I'm not with them, but I can love them all the same. Now, yeah. uh, thanks. You're good. Five stars good? Mm, maybe four. Four? Yeah, this car's, car's a total mess. <laughs> Oh, this is Eric Thomas in Florence, Kentucky, as he was before. <laughs> He's still there. Um, what do we want to tell 
him about a better place. Yeah. I thought the dialogue was really natural, the pacing, the way they yeah. interacted with each other. The acting was really good, too. Yeah. It's hard to believe that was a cold reading. Yeah. Amazing. Um, I like the concept, taking an Uber to a better place. <laughs> no, it just lived. Lived, though. Or <laughs> well, it could have been a Via. I don't know what they have in Kentucky. I think for being in a car, they had a lot of good action, right? Because you think that they're just in a stable spot, but I thought it was very fun when they started throwing stuff at them and distractions mm. and whatever else. And, and, and I'll tell you what went through my mind. How are we going to clean the stage up? <laughs> <laughs> it's a mess. It's a mess. <laughs> Has to be last show of the day or uh, intermission. Mm -hmm. there's, there's only tennis balls of tennis balls, and crochet, yarn. and crochet yeah. yarn, and pants and pencils. pencils. It was the tennis balls that got me. Yeah, yeah. 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 they got to go flying all over the stage. Oh, 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 the back. Well, you could have pizza. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we could use your cardboard for the bowl. Put the cardboard yeah. right, right. right. surround it in cardboard. Right. cardboard right. Yeah. I don't want to be beaming the uh, audience, right? <laughs> okay. So, so you liked it. Yeah. Yes. Very, very clever. Okay. People in Kentucky are funny. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them. Yeah. Right. George Cooper. At least, at least one. Okay. Uh,